Hello everybody, welcome back to DD56, Daily Dictation 56. The new dictation will be easy level. I hope it's easy. It'll be short, simple, easy, but first we need to go to DD55, the advanced. It was very long, but you guys did a great job. It's talking about tattoos. Do you have a tattoo on your arm? I don't. Let's listen again. A Georgia mother says she was arrested for allowing her 10-year-old son to get a tattoo in memory of his late brother. We hope that they can find something that will sustain them through that loss. But this is not the way. Okay, before we discuss it, let's read the answers. A Georgia mother says she was arrested for allowing her 10-year-old son to get a tattoo in memory of his late brother. We hoped that they could find something that would sustain them through that loss, but this is not the way. Those are the answers. Let's go to the first section. A Georgia mother says, a Georgia, now Georgia is one of America's 50 states. So a mother that lives in Georgia, a Georgia mother says, a Georgia mother says she, and these sounds go together, says she, says she, says she was, 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 now we say it short, was. A Georgia mother says she was, she was arrested. She was arrested. She was arrested. Arrested. Like the police. The police got her. They arrested her. And took her to jail. Wow. Why? Why was this mother arrested? For. Arrested for allowing her 10-year-old son to get a tattoo. So this mother allowed her son. She let her son get a tattoo. And in Georgia, that's illegal. Because the son was too young. It was a 10-year-old son. 10 years old? No. He is 10 years old. Here, old becomes a subject. But here the subject is son, so this is an adjective. And when we use a number as an adjective, the counter, the classifier, in this case year, does not have an S. So 10 years old son? No. 10 year old son. What about this one? How do you read this? A baby that is born weighs 3.5 kilograms. So now let's take 3.5 kilograms and use it as an adjective to describe baby and we say a 3.5 kilogram baby. There's no S. The counter, the classifier, kilogram has no S. A 3.5 kilogram baby. Ten-year-old son. Do you understand? So she allowed her 10-year-old son to get, to receive a tattoo. Why? Why would a mother, any mother, allow her son to get a tattoo? Come on. There is a reason. In memory of his late brother. What does late brother mean? It means deceased brother or dead brother. So this 10 year old boy had, an, had a brother, an older brother, but he died. And the little boy is sad. So he wants to remember his brother. How can he remember his brother forever? The little boy thinks, oh, 
I can have a tattoo of my brother on my arm and then forever I will remember my brother. Actually, if you ask me, that's sweet. It's kind of cute. The problem is tattoos. Are tattoos good or bad? And in Georgia, the problem is children under 18 cannot get tattoos. It's illegal. Even if the parent says it's okay, it's illegal. The law says no. So, this mother was arrested. A Georgia mother says she was arrested for allowing her 10-year-old son to get a tattoo in memory of his late brother. A great expression, in memory of. So in memory of something something, we do this. Do you know Princess Diana? Prince Charles' ex-wife, Princess Diana, was killed in a car accident. And Elton John, the singer, piano player, singer, he made a song in memory of Princess Diana. Do you know the song? The song is called Candle in the Wind. I think that's what the song is. I'll put a YouTube link right here. It's a pretty song. Elton John wrote that song in memory of Princess Diana. Another singer, uh, what's his name? Eric, Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. He had a boy, a little boy, that died. So, in memory of his son, he also wrote a song, and the song is called Tears in Heaven. And I'll put a link to that song there. So both of these singers wrote songs in memory of somebody. So this little boy, he wants a tattoo in memory of his brother. Doing something in memory of someone is usually very nice. The problem is tattoos, where is it? Tattoos are illegal for children. So the next person to speak was the police, a policeman. And he said, we hoped that, oh, this is difficult, nobody got the D. We hoped that, we connect the sounds. So we don't actually say hoped that, no, D, th, similar sounds, they connect. We hope that, we hope that, you can't hear it. We hope that they. Who's they? The mother and the son. We hope that they could find something, find some method that would, that would, we can change that with to. We hope that they could find something to sustain them, sustain them through that loss, that loss. What loss? the late brother, the dead brother. If you lose somebody in your family, that is a loss. So if you know somebody who had a brother or a mother or a father who died, you can say, I'm terribly sorry for your loss. I'm very sorry for your loss. The meaning is, you feel sad for the person because they lost a relative because their relative died. So it's a very useful expression. Now, <clears throat> we, we, who's we? The police. Everybody, but specifically the police. We hoped that this mother and son could find something to help them sustain that loss, sustain them through that loss, to help them through that loss. So if you lose somebody, like me, <clears throat> when I was young, my uncle died, my Uncle Joe, and I really loved my Uncle Joe. He died young. It was really sad. 
So I was, I was depressed. So what did I do? I didn't get a tattoo that said, I love Joe. I didn't write a song in memory of Joe. What I did was I listened to my uncle's favorite music. My uncle liked an old rock band called Head East. Head East. My uncle also liked the crazy movie called The Rocky Horror Picture Show. So what I did is I read a book about the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I listened to the music from the movie. I told my friends about the movie, how crazy it was and funny. And I did that in memory of my Uncle Joe. And that made me happy. It gave me good memories about my Uncle Joe. And thanks to those good memories, I got used to my uncle not being there. So losing my uncle was very sad, but to help me get through the sadness, to help me endure the pain, to help me sustain myself through the loss, I listened to his music, his favorite music, and I was happy. And I'm confident that my Uncle Joe is in a better place. So we hope that if you experience a loss, we hope that you find something to help sustain you through that loss, to help you get over, overcome that loss. And then the policeman says, but this is not the way. This is not the way, the method. This is not the something. This, what's this? Getting a tattoo. So you can do many things to help you get through the loss, but you cannot get a tattoo. Why not? Yes, I agree, little children should not have tattoos. The mother should have said no. The mother, maybe she should have said, do something else. Get a tattoo when you're 18. For now, do something else. But, come on, should she be arrested? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. But maybe you do. That's okay. If I were the mother or father, I wouldn't allow it. I wouldn't allow it, personally. But she allowed it. That's her decision. It's her son's. If she forced her son, hey, you need to get a tattoo, that's different. Then the mother should be arrested. But if the, chi if the child really wanted it, it's painful. And she said, okay, it's going to be painful. Are you sure? I don't think she should have been arrested. That's my opinion. What do you think? It's the same thing about piercings, getting earrings, or nose rings. A lot of children, little babies, little girls, and maybe boys too, they get piercings. Is that okay? Or they get weird haircuts, or they dye their hair, or they put on makeup. Is that okay? Should parents be arrested for their children putting on makeup or dressing terribly, dressing in clothes that are not appropriate? Should parents be arrested for that? Yes, a parent's responsibility is big. But in my opinion, if what happens does not cause other people pain or discomfort, they should let it go. Talk to the parent. Hey, what are you doing? That's not appropriate for children. Other children don't do that. That's a bad example. 
I don't know. It, this is really complicated. It's not, there's no easy solution. I always think the individual person should take responsibility. But the fact is, I think many people are irresponsible. I don't know. It goes, to, it goes back to the PIPA and SOPA laws. Yeah. How much should we allow the government to control our lives? I don't like it. But man, people act irresponsibly. What can you do? This is a conundrum. This is a difficult situation. Anyway, that's the story. Very controversial story. A lot of people say she should be arrested. A lot of people say she shouldn't be arrested. What do you think? Let's read it again. Listen carefully. A Georgia mother says she was arrested for allowing her 10-year-old son to get a tattoo in memory of his late brother. We hope that we hope that they could find something that would sustain them through that loss, but this is not the way. We hope that they could, 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 could. Some people wrote can. Can, could, could, could. Could, 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 could. Could find. Could find something that, something that, it almost sounds like that, that. Would, a lot of people miss this word. That would, that would, would, really short, that would sustain, that would sustain, that would sustain, that would sustain, I'll get closer, that would sustain, that would, that would, that would, that would sustain, very difficult, this D sound, you really, it's a stop sound, stop, would sustain, would sustain, would sustain them, sustain them through that loss, 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 but this is not the way, an accent goes here, but this, getting a tattoo, is not the proper method for sustaining them through that loss. It's a little bit difficult, but once again, you guys did a great job. Let's listen two more times, then we have an easy dictation. A Georgia mother says she was arrested for allowing her 10-year-old son to get a tattoo in memory of his late brother. We hope that they can find something that will sustain them through that loss, but this is not the way. A Georgia mother says she was arrested for allowing her 10-year-old son to get a tattoo in memory of his late brother. We hope that they can find something that will sustain them through that loss, but this is not the way. Okay, DD56 is easy. Blue. Blue means easy. And it's from the situation comedy Seinfeld, and the character speaking is Elaine. Now think about the situation. You go to a restaurant or to a bakery and you order food and they bring you food but in the food there is a hair. Is that good or bad? What do you do? Do you complain? Do you get angry? Do you just take out the hair? What do you do? Please leave a response. What do you do if you find hair in your food at a restaurant or at a bakery? What do you do? In the meantime, Elaine says something very funny and you need to dictate it. Good luck, everybody. I'll say hello to the new users at the end. He sold us a hair with a cake around it. He sold us a hair with a cake around it. He sold us a hair with a cake around it. He sold us a hair with a cake around it. Okay, we have four new users. Actually, other people subscribe to my channel, 
But if you don't have your own YouTube channel, I can't see your name. So there are many new people, but I don't know your name. I apologize. So let me say hi to the people with YouTube channels, and we got four of them. Number one, NBA F Mix. NBA F Mix. NBA, as in the National Basketball Association, are you an NBA fan? This guy, girl, maybe a girl, I think it's a guy, I'm guessing, is from Brazil. Obrigado. Thank you very much for joining the channel. From the Dominican Republic. Wow, cool. We have Dilcia Maria. Dilcia Maria. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce Dilcia, Dilcia Maria. Thank you very much for joining the channel. I believe you are the first person from the Dominican Republic. Thank you very much. And two people from the U.S., United States. We have 3388856. 3388856. What does that mean? 3388856. I'm so curious. Welcome. And finally, John H. Great. John H. Great. John, you are great. Thank you very much for joining my channel. John H. Great also likes... Duncan! Yeah, Duncan's a cool English teacher, too. So, uh, it's all one big happy family. Thank you, everybody, for joining the channel, for subscribing. It's easy to subscribe, and I usually have two to four videos every week, and I'm using the Western calendar Monday through Friday is when I do my recordings. You don't have to start at the beginning. You don't have to start at lesson one. You can start today. Do your best. If you can't hear something, don't worry about it. I'll give you the answers in a couple days. Just keep trying and have fun. Thank you very much and I'll see you next lesson.